himself is guilty of that offense. Say again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground, and as the street to them that went over. Yeah, and that's more of an indictment against you devils. We bow down. We didn't resist you. You don't see the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American descending upon the White House or the state capitol with weapons. You don't see Jake attempting to perform a coup against America. Pretty much Israel subjected themselves to you devils, man. Yet, you steadily find ways to justify waging war against Israel. So again, in a show of justice, the Lord is going to have you drink of that cup. That cup of trembling. Which really, that trembling translates to slavery. <laughs> See? So when you go back here again, to the book of Lamentations, the fourth chapter, and again, starting at the 21st verse, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup, <laughs> the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shall make thyself naked. Verse 22, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. And this is what contributes again to the glad titans and good news that's sent forth to the children of Israel, starting with the elect. Our warfare is accomplished. See? It says, He will no more carry thee away into captivity. See? So you see where that cup of trembling actually translates to captivity. <laughs> Let's read this again. It says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. See? He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. And again, the storyline consists of these two parties, man. Jacob and Esau. <laughs> See? He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins, meaning you will be made naked, you will be defeated, you will be conquered, which will lead to you going into captivity. <laughs> you know the house of bondage is just that. And that house is eternal. The only thing that changes is the tenants. Whereas in times past, we occupied the house of bondage. But guess what? Now Esau <laughs> is about to become the tenants. And guess who's going to be the landlords? You guessed it. The children of Israel. Storm with the Lord's elect. So y'all just wanted to touch on that. Lord willing, it was edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom.